and welcome to the Weird Times Podcast, where we talk about anything and everything that can happen right here on planet Earth. Whether it's entertainment and television, politics, or whatever dumb news comes out of the woodwork, we talk about it all right here. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Welcome to the podcast, the Weird Times Podcast. Like I said, we talk about anything and everything that happens under the sun. <laughs> so uh, let's get to it. I'm here with my buddy, uh, I want to be known as Mega Dude, Mega Man, Mega Mike, Mega Mind, Magic Mike. Just John. It's just John. All right. He's just John. So, dog, you've been in quarantine for like a minute. Yeah, for like two and a half months. Two and a half months, dog. Did you go outside ever or did you just not Yeah, really? I do. I go outside when we uh, need to get some like essentials, whether that be food, uh, go to help my mother pay the bills stuff like that yeah no i haven't been working so getting money has been rough i haven't gotten my stimulus check i have filed for unemployment but it's taking forever no the stimulus is weird i have my parents none of us in my household got on uh, the stimulus i don't know why i think they said if you owe taxes to the government you won't get the check and i don't know because i don't own no fucking taxes but for some reason or another i guess i'm not I don't know what the situation's supposed to be. It would have been better if they had like a guideline. If they would have said, "Hey, do this, 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 this," you get your stimulus. But since it's not like that, that's not how they're gonna do it. I wish. Plus, you got a lot of people like that also applied for it too. So that can be also an, as a reason why it's taking so long. Yeah. Unemployment's overwhelmed. I, I mean, I'll say this: it's a socialist dream. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a- Ain't that the truth? <laughs> yeah, I couldn't. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't imagine it. Venezuela's probably like that's the way to go, guys. Be like us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you do see a lot of people's true colors though since this virus started. Oh man, sex has been. Well, everyone I talk about is like, dog. All we do is fucking. I and heard it's that like, too. That's, that's great. That's I a heard great that thing. Too. I heard that. Enjoy too. yourselves. Get those endorphin rushes. You know, if you're a married couple, if you're not fucking in quarantine, if you're not having any sex in quarantine, and you're like with a couple or you're married, something is wrong. Unless you're like old. I understand if you're old. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a hype. But if you're like a young married couple, y'all have to have some type of sex. It is if you're not, it's not. There's some. There's something else wrong. Oh, what are you playing, Doom? Yeah, Doom sixty four. Oh my god. Oh, it came with Doom old, Eternal. Old, old ass Doom Eternal. That's fine. But um, nah, that's it. Changed. Ooh. Are you ready for a second wave? Most of us aren't gonna be ready for, it, but it's just something we're gonna have to deal with. To be honest with you. Oh, you know what's the funniest thing on Netflix? I was seeing these, uh, this is how I know that I can't stand media. It's because you know, on Netflix, there's a there's a show called, a uh, epi- uh, docu-series called Pandemic. Mm-hmm. And it's, every time anyone advertises, like, yo, watch this Pandemic series, that uh, it's scary because it's mirroring what's happening in real life and this, that, and that third. And I'm just like, propaganda. Mm-hmm. My first thought was propaganda because that's dealing with a an outbreak that's like, Bad. This is not the worst outbreak we had. No, it's not in history. It just sucks because you know it's a new, a new virus. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not happened before. Our bodies aren't equipped for it like that. But the human body is better than people give credit for. Like the Spanish flu, horrible. Yeah, and that and was about what a century ago. Yeah, second wave, even worse. Bubonic plague, worse. You know what we're talking about bubonic plague? It's just we, we we know how to deal with it so well now that. It's basically non-existent. It's still there in rats and mice. That's where it started from. But it's this is the coronavirus is gonna be the same thing over time. Just watch. No, it's not bad. As long as you, the only thing that sucks is that if you have a compromised immune system, that's when you're in trouble. Yeah, because I got a uh, family that has that issue. Like my mother's a diabetic. My father's a diabetic too. So if they were to get uh, infected with the virus, that would not be a pretty sight for them. Yeah, compromised immune system, like you said. Mm-hmm. You know? That's why I try not to go out as much because I'm not really worried about myself getting it. I'm really worried about my family getting it. Yeah. See, my, mom, my mom's getting up there in age, so I have to be careful. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm sanitizing. I'm always, I'm always being careful about what I'm doing. You know, but my mom's always like, "Be careful." I'm like, "Mom, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, I can't make you sure be careful. Yeah. You be careful." Yeah, and it's it worries me because my mother works at the airport. Oh, well, that's a good job. But it she is has, a good she job. Has to be careful, even more. And the good thing, but the good thing is, is that she 
one of the managers, so she's just in an office all all the time. So yeah, plus, there's not a lot of traveling going on no more. Yeah, I'm that's true. Used to. I mean, for the past two and a half months, she has been working from home. So at least she would still be uh, making income from her job, but now they uh, told her to come back. Don't ever shut up, do they? No, they do not. I apologize for oh that. Oh my god. <laughs> I hope you don't. It's not picking up on the mic. That's the best thing. But Jesus. Yeah, I just died. Do you want me to close the door? Uh, sure, for now. It'll be aight. Ooh wee. Ah! There it is. Nah. So we're talking about. Oh, yeah, there we go. Quentin, yo. What I do like, though? Gas prices are low. Yes. Everything's I'm... you're buying is cheap. My car was. It's getting would... lower. My tank it. was on E. Like on E, the light was on. Twenty bucks just filled up the whole thing, and that was on premium, not on regular. Just twenty bucks. Ew, you into premium? Hell yeah, yeah. one long ass thing. <laughs> yeah, things like what, what, twenty? Like how much would it be now? Is if regular gas? I know in, in Georgia, depending on where you're at, gas goes as low as as low as one sixty. I think it was like one one ninety here, one eighty. Yeah, one ninety for premium is still really good compared to like three dollars or some change. Oh no, that, not doing. That's how much I think it was for. Regular was like one eighty or one ninety, and I think for premium it was like two ten. Oh, but still, like twenty bucks to fill up the entire tank. That's yeah, that's, that's cheap. I mean, I don't know if you remember years ago. I think this was before uh, Obama became president. This was before and during he became president. There was mm-hmm. a whole the recession happened, and he had to try to fix and gas prices this were like almost five dollars for a gallon, and people lost their shit. Mm-hmm. Like there's a study that says Americans will tolerate a certain amount of prices, but once you get close to five dollars. If you're over 480, we lose our shit. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Ask the French. It was rough, I remember. Ask the French. They lost their shit. They had such an increase in the gas prices. Mm-hmm. They rioted all over, especially in Paris. They rioted. Mm-hmm. When's the last time you heard of French people rioting? Almost never. That's how yeah. bad it got. It was really and bad. And then they had to take it away, so they calmed it down. Like I was I'm glad they did, because like, you were spending a whole lot of cash just to fill up your gas tank. The, the best part, I think, well, towards the back end of that, before it got better, when it was still kind of bad, I, I remember my first car, and I was like, oh, yes, I got 10 cents more. And someone says, oh, here's 10 cents. No, you don't get it. You're not driving. 10 cents is what I need right now. Exactly. That saves me. If I have 10 cents exactly just to save on gas, that literally I can go to the store and get me some type of candy bar. I have the exact change for it with the tax. I know what I'm doing. Let me be me. <laughs> like, exactly. That's how I used to be. Yeah, oh, it was man. it was brutal. I knew something was happening because in Atlanta, when I was in school, gas went from like two fifteen. I was like, "Oh, okay, that's pretty nice." And then a couple of days, I went over to visit one ninety seven. Oh, I'm liking this. And then it does again one eighty seven. Ooh. Like, yeah. I mean, when was the last time I, you saw gas that cheap? Oh, it was like it, it, it'll be that cheap now. Yeah. Now after this, they're gonna raise it back up. Exactly. They have to do something. They gotta do something to make up money. Mm-hmm. You know, the government is losing taxes. Businesses, businesses that are not like delivery or online, they're mm-hmm. losing money. A lot Quickly. of businesses are losing money. Yeah, a lot of them are. But like, what's this whole deal with toilet paper? What do you mean? People are just people are trying to kill each other over it. I mean, you know, people people want to make sure they got toilet paper. I mean, I can understand that, but you do you really need to try to kill somebody for it? Well, the problem was that people were buying in bulk, and not just bulk buying. I'm talking about there's no set limit to how much you need in a household. Mm-hmm. But if you have a household of three, you need to buy at least three big rolls of toilet paper. That'll last you about two or three months. What they were doing was households of like two people or one people, two or three, were buying, I think, six or seven at a time. Mm-hmm. And it's like, hold the fuck up. I got five, six kids and you only got one. You are not having yeah, seven you rolls don't need of toilet a, You don't need to take like, all of that toilet tissue with you. Yeah, so I understand, I understand that to that degree, but at the same time, it's... You know, that just it part of the whole, a big hole in our uh, transportation system. Like, there's a big hole as in, I don't know how or why, but for some reason, the trucks are not coming in. There's a certain schedule, and with this uh, corona thing, the COVID thing, their response time was dessert was none. They were, had horrible responses. Yeah. And people are, I don't know what they're doing, I guess, because companies are afraid of spending money. But the problem is, like, dog, you, you got to spend this money now because you need to hire more people mm-hmm. especially now you need to get more double the shipments people are literally they're literally taking stuff the moment they come off the truck they take them they didn't even go into the stores yeah they take them from the trucks and go buy them off the truck they just go out to the checkout 
that's the problem. So it's like, so you're seeing this, and someone, and then someone's not telling you what's going on, or it's not translating well. But you need more, you need to do more things, mm -hmm. you need more stuff, you need more people, you need, you, you just need a better response to everything. Look at Jeff Bezos. Bezos, this dude is a fucking genius. He's gonna be a trillionaire, bro. Net worth trillionaire. He don't own a trillion dollars. That'd be crazy. But he's, oh, yeah. his net worth is gonna be for that business. Amazon's doing great. Yeah, they are. Like, I don't care what you what you say. Who are you getting your packages from? Amazon, right? Amazon. Yeah, <laughs> everything that we've been getting so far, like when my fam, like when my mother orders something, Amazon. Yeah, Amazon. Amazon. Always Amazon. I ordered a microphone off of Amazon. I ordered something else off of Amazon. My mom. Always orders off of Amazon something. Mm -hmm. Unless you want to go back to the days of Craigslist and eBay, which you can. You can, you but can, I, but, but they're not man, they're, they're not trusted. I don't trust those. Not a lot of people do. I mean, I still I, I still trust eBay for for like car sales. You have to go to the person. Da da da. But I don't trust eBay for delivery. You know? Yeah, I don't trust that either. You know, that's it's a product of the times. Amazon just became the most trusted. It's because it's legit. That pl that company is legit. And they work with the government. Mm -hmm. Like you feel me? So you got USPS delivering if. The post United States Postal Service doesn't do it. You got FedEx, mm -hmm. you got you, you UPS ups. You know, you, they're gonna do it all. You know, it's beautiful. And there goes my dog again. That's all good. We didn't hear him. We didn't hear him. Oh boy, how much we been running for? Oh, look at that little 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 ten minutes. I like that. But uh, oh yeah, but no, Joe Rogan apparently is gonna leave YouTube for Spotify. They haven't said. But he you hasn't know, announced it. No, he's announced it. They haven't said that uh, how much they paid him though. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he wants to. Uh, and say I'm not that. because if he says that, you, you, I guarantee you, YouTube is probably gonna come back and say, "Oh, well, we'll pay you this much if you stay with us." Um, I'm sorry, YouTube can probably cannot compete with Spotify. You know, just just for the fact that, uh, cause like reading the news up, and just the fact that uh, Joe Rogan announced he was gonna switch over to Spotify, and by September is when he wants is exclusively switching to Spotify. Mm -hmm. The Spotify sales jumped up 11. percent The stock, their stocks jumped up 11. percent Oh, that's off really of one good. dude. One dude who yeah. has like millions of subscribers, millions. He had like, let me, let me check I it think, right now. I think he has like what, six or seven million. Let me check. Let me check right now. I got phone. We got phones for this. Let's see, Joe J R E it's Joe Rogan Experience Podcast. Come on, load up your stupid phone. There we go. Yo, the dude has 8.42 million. Mm hmm You know how much 8.8 mil million people are? That's literally like a country. Exactly. That's a small country. And just making a lot of money by with the views yeah. he would get. Just but the fact that he's getting paid more from Spotify, I can understand why he's switching. Well, also, he, probably, he has more freedom on Spotify. Think about it. Yeah, because YouTube they, got... They're giving him all creative control. Mm hmm He doesn't have to worry about stuff. He doesn't have to worry about any Patreon thing. That's YouTube's biggest thing. Every time I go to YouTube, it's a Patreon. I apparently hate YouTube is doing so tr d garbage. You know, I don't do I don't do YouTube. I'm put this on YouTube. I don't expect to get monetized. I don't care. Yeah, you, for, <laughs> to get monetized on YouTube, you have to have at least a thousand followers and four thousand hours of watch time. And even then, the smaller YouTubers, I know for a fact, they get crushed quicker mm -hmm. because they don't have as much influence. Exactly. You can get copyrighted for little things, and you can't even contend it. I tried loading, loading some videos. I literally put the actual like. Whatever music it was, it was, it was Dance of the Sugar Fairy, whatever, whatever crap it is. Mm -hmm. I put it in there. I put the title, you know, the music, da 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 da, and it said copyright because it's not your music. I said the description tells you. I already said it's not my music. I don't own the music. Da 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 da. I don't own this, that, or this type of music. The music is here. This is what his name is. This is who was had it. This is who was from. And I still got copyright. You track. give the credit to whoever like, oh, it so is. So you tell me I'm giving credit to somebody. To whoever made it, and you still want to tell me, oh, it's a copyright strike. Granted, I was using YouTube's <laughs> very own editing system. Yeah. And they had the music. I was like, oh, hey, look, I'm in, you know, I'm in high school. I'm thinking it's gonna be peachy clean and shit. No, it wasn't. YouTube. So uh, I look a few uh, like a uh, like about a week later. I'm like, how do I, how do I have a copyright? Already have a copyright strike. What is this? I used your own. Your very own editing platform. Your own music Your own library. music pla library that you gave me. I didn't even import nothing. I just looked at what you had and thought, oh, hey, this is fun. I looked at some end of the world type music, whatever, some whatever that you had in your category. Mm -hmm. And then someone copyrights me. And you say, oh, yeah, sure, yeah, it's great. It goes through. It's yeah, perfect. I had a similar situation um, when I was uploading one of my drawings. I did a drawing for somebody, and he paid me. Um... But the video editor I was using had music that I could use. 
and it, it was it supposedly was royalty free so meaning I can use it without getting any copyright claims or strikes I use that song as soon as I upload the video not even a minute later copyright claim when was this this was like three months ago I, I drew somebody I drew a friend of mine's dog and he paid me and the song I picked I thought it went well with the video but I got a copyright claim for it because it says this music does not belong to you. I'm like, but wait a minute. I know the music doesn't belong to me, but it stated that it's royalty free and it came with yeah. this video editor and they gave us permission to use it. I paid for this editor and now you're telling me that the music from that editor is going to give me a copyright claim? It's got a shit algorithm. Uh, or anyone can just copyright, anyone can copyright claim you too just because they fuck it, they want to. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter. It doesn't really matter. The YouTube doesn't even look into it like that. It's just, oh, you got copyright claim. Okay. You got two more before you're out. It's like, dog, just remove this. Well, there's a different... Well, with YouTube, it's different because I've gotten a few copyright claims, but I've never gotten a copyright strike. Ah, okay. Yeah. I got a strike. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck is... How, how did I get a strike? Yeah, like a copyright claim is like they're saying, hey, you're using this person's uh, song. You can still leave your video. It'll be uploaded there, but if you see ads running on there, the person who this music belongs to, the money's going to go to them. Oh, I'm not even monetized. So that's stupid. So you can just copyright strike someone that's not even monetized mm -hmm. or copy claim them. And it's like, dog, and still even... put ads on their videos so Super the ads. owner can get the money, which I can understand if you're using somebody else's music. But if you give credit, at least if you give, give credit. credit yeah. Be, give credit. Be. And if it says royalty free and then you give a copyright claim, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't that false advertisement on the editor as well? No, oh, that is false advertisement. That, that should not have gone through. Exactly. The editor will just lie straight they up. Can get... They can get... Or... They probably thought, okay, we looked up everywhere, you know, this is royalty free. Like, no one actually gets paid for this because one is an orchestra that did this. Mm -hmm. And the orchestra has been so long that they didn't even care about it. They didn't even want it. They, they purposely don't want the money from it because it's so small that almost no one uses it. Yeah. It's like using certain, like, songs. You know, if someone's dead, they're dead. It just goes straight to the company. And even then, the company at some point doesn't care. Exactly. It's like, you can't say, like, say I can't play Nir like Nirvana or Queen. But boy, I'ma play the Wolfgang <laughs> Amadeus Mozart. So hey. Thank you for listening to the podcast so far. As of right now, we're going to take a short intermission. That way everyone gets a chance to clear their minds and take a small break. After the break, we will resume shortly and continue our discussion of the topic at hand. Thank you very much. Thank you. Last time we left off, we should be talking about what? YouTube. YouTube and, and uh, how they copyright stuff. Mm -hmm. Copy strikes. Yeah, copyright strikes and copyright claims. Uh, uh, stuff like that's stupid, in my opinion. Yeah. Oh, Twitch. Garbage. <laughs> Why? Hot take of the year. Bro, bro apparently, there, are been, there have been multiple complaints now that there are people that Twitch is obviously that they show favorites. You yes, can tell. Yes. But they're heavy favorites. Like if they are super favorites of favorites of Twitch, they get to get away with things that other people can't get away with. And also you Twitch know. is uh sexist. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't say it's that it's not that sexist cuz look, you got dumb motherfuckers giving women their money just for sitting there. That's true. There, there are little females that don't do nothing but like read stuff. Off of a little book, and either you got they, a whole bunch of people there watching. All they all watching, all of them. I'm not mad at them. <laughs> like, no, I mean, if that's the way they shit, can make was, money, then if you know, more power to you. But I think it's kind of ridiculous how you got people like girls that just do that. Well, not just girls, just people in general that do yeah. stuff like that. Um, 
and there's actually talented people that actually work hard and they get you know recognition yeah it's, it's a little difficult sometimes but like i said there's a market for it Shit, if i was a pretty ass woman i'd do it you feel me yeah I mean, we in the age, we're in the age of what of uh, OnlyFans and this and that. Oh my God! And, uh, and OnlyFans ever since this quarantine started. OnlyFans is funny. You don't even gotta do nothing. You just show some feet pics or something. Oh. And God. they're still. <laughs> that's how I know men are just that disgusting. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> there are some dudes that just do not care. They're like, "Oh, I have a feet fetish. This is perfect for me. I like that. I like those toes." <laughs> oh, hey, look! You did, you did your, you did your nails. That's cute as fuck. Like that. <laughs> and they'll make money because of it, bro. They make a lot of money over that stuff. How you know how they how they look? Like I said, more power to them. That's that's a case of just dumb dumb dudes doing dumb things. They're dumb, lonely, and horny. That's the worst combination they can get. It's and now just, they're isolated. It just makes it even crazy. worse for them. But I actually saw this video the other day. Uh, somebody shared it with me on uh, Facebook, and it's this video of this guy saying like, "How is it that I forgot this one girl's name?" But he goes like, "How is it that so and so?" has millions of followers and she's just eating cake in front of a camera but i actually make artwork and i gain no recognition for it and what did it do hmm? is he handsome like relatively handsome i mean i guess like but like like, like, showed, like, like, like in a not gay way is he handsome does he does yeah he, he, have was, muscles? he didn't does show he his have... face ah. he didn't show his face but like he showed his artwork and bro he did insane paintings like really detailed shit and he gets no recognition for it yeah, it's a little, yeah. It's... i mean i can relate to that i mean I've been drawing for years. I'm trying to show people what I can do, and I mean, but, get, but you, but you are getting recognition. It's not like you're not, but you're getting. It's, it's a slow, slow. It's a slow. It's recognition. very slow. It's taking forever. Because yeah. there's few, there's few channels uh, on YouTube that I uh, follow, and all they do is drawings, and some of them got over a million followers. Yeah, it gets like that. They, like I said, I think the the fun, the funnest one for me is uh, people that have become memes overnight. Oh man, they're the best. Yeah. Because like, you captured a moment, and once you knew what the once you capture what the people like, you're good. You are. Set. And it's something. It's, and it's especially when you least expect it. <gasps> yeah, it's like, oh, y'all like this? Okay, done. Like you immediately start selling way more than you thought you would. Mother, are you really dying right now? Yeah. This, this is round three of zombies. But um, <laughs> you know, you say something like that, but like perfect example. Did you honestly think that girl by just saying "cash me outside" would be famous because of that? Oh no, you're not wrong. I mean, just by that, she got super famous. She now makes music. Oh, you know, she was it, it was caught that that was actually fake, right? That that girl actually like played everybody, and the mom, because she she's actually not like that that nasty of a person. She's actually nice in real life. Oh, I've never heard of that. No, one. yeah, no. If you see stuff of her when she's off camera, and there's off camera stuff that people just catch, she's all nice. Like, oh hey, how are you? White as shit. Oh, the most my whitest God. white girl you can you can you can look at and, and hear. But that's the image. That's what people want. People want an image, you know. Like that one little girl, uh, Lil Tay, before she got exposed. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and it wasn't her fault. That was her brother saying yeah, stuff. Yeah, her brother was making her do that. And it's like, look, I'm actually, I do not like the people that actually came up to her and try to test her gangster and shit. Like, no, that's a nine year old little girl. She, you should obviously know that she has no idea what she's talking about. But that was genius of her brother, though. Even though oh, her was brother stupid. was genius, they became an inner yeah. sensation, you know. Exactly. But like I said, like. There is there is a difference. There is reality. There is you know there is fantasy. Some people, the, the internet isn't always on honest place. That's the, that's to me. Uh, can you get me? <laughs> yeah, I got you. Oh, I got the little car. I like that. But no, that's like I said to me. That's that's the beautiful thing about the internet. Like it doesn't matter, you know, whether you're fake or real. You you can, as long as you provide some form of entertainment, people like it. And those that like it, they have, there's an audience for it. You'd be surprised, dude. Like you you get, you get like. You gain like uh, attention when you least expect it. Yeah. When you're trying is like when you don't get it, but then when you actually stop trying and you just do it just because fuck it, yeah. then you get the attention, which is weird. It is what? better in my opinion. I like that actually. I mean, I like to be caught by surprise. Don't get me wrong. I don't like to uh, right away expect that I'm gonna do well. I like to be always like surprised. Yeah, some type of surprise. I mean, it's always because it's like I said, it's it's just something. It's always something that's like, oh, hey, look, this actually worked out. And you never even know what's going to work out. Exactly. You know, the people that actually, you know, go out there and put themselves out there, you know, it, it is, it does suck because it can go one or two ways. You can go really bad or really good. There's no in between. If you're in between, you, you're not doing anything. That's true. You know? Why well, I think I had the stuff with uh, Logan Paul. 
Oh my dude. god. But that dude is stupid. I'm sorry. Yeah, you, but dog. Negative the negative attention became a positive attention. Now he, no one really talks about him now, but he's still good on YouTube. He's still big kinda of big on YouTube. People are still watching his stuff, don't know why, but they are. Like, Most of his fan base are kids, dude. Exactly. Like he, and he realized, oh wait, maybe I shouldn't make suicide jokes when I have But that was a, a legit fan base. that was a legit And now that he film. Yeah, I know, not only that, he made jokes and he desecrated a body and you can't be showing kids that. Mm-hmm. You know? That's one he, that's, that's he, why he, YouTube got so strict. He forgot what he was doing. He he oh, 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 oh I need to buy this perk in a bit. But uh he all he was is he just he literally forgot, oh that's right. I have a fan base that's mostly kids. Even though I want to do, you know, other things, I have to be conscious of it. That's yeah, the main I fan think, base I but have. I think, yeah, but I felt he did that, like, purposely. Like, I don't think he really thought about the fans because look at it this way. I'm talking about, like, after when he got the blowback. When he got the blowback. Yeah, but, because he had to think about that. It's like, you know, you make your fake apology, whatever, and then yeah, you, because, you actually, like, I was redo gonna say, your stuff. You because, know? like, before that, uh, what's it called? Before he even recorded that uh, suicide vid, Oh, he promoted his merch. Yeah. He promoted his merch, and he didn't monetize the vid, but YouTube themselves still promoted it. And then once he did his fake apology, which got like almost a hundred million views, you know he monetized that. He had to monetize it. So he knew what he was doing. Shoot, I would monetize it. What? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like that apology vid, just him with his horrible apology, fake apology. What? Fifty to sixty million views in like one day. Mm, yeah. You know how much money that is? It's money. Exactly. So but it's all part of it's all part of the the plan there when it comes to making money and it comes to getting views. I don't know. I can't. I can't stand fake apologies, bro. I can't either. But that's how the internet is today. Yeah. I mean, some people lose their, lose their fake apology. Ooh, stamina. up. Some people do lose their, lose because of fake apology. Like, <laughs> I don't know the name of this girl, but she legit cut to herself crying and with the fake tears, and I'm like. That's yeah. too obvious of a cut. Yeah, you are right. just, you, and everyone dogged on her because of it. And she, I'm, I don't know what her status is. I forgot her name. I don't even know who she was. But that's how irrelevant she became now. Whatever she had, whatever she had, after that little apology video, whatever she did, because like I said, I don't follow her. I don't even know her name. There's no mention of her again, ever. Not even. I didn't even see. I know her face, so I didn't even see the same face in YouTube. No, no, yeah. nothing. No this. No that. None of that. You at least see Logan Paul here and there now and then on YouTube, you know? Yeah, even though he still acts, like, really immature. Yo, that reminds me. You remember the days of Vine? Oh, my God. Bruh, but so TikTok many... TikTok pretty much took over. Yeah, but so many Vine stars now are not doing that good. That's how Lo- that, that was also one of the ways that Logan Paul and Jake Paul got famous. Oh, yeah, they YouTube. switched over their fan bases, but it still it wasn't the, the best thing for them. Like, look at King Bash. That man actually did something. I mean, he he not only makes videos. He was on Wild and Out, that's great. True. Like you feel me? He, he has some minor movie roles here and there. He has some fun Netflix movie roles. You know, like he always had something. Yeah. Like, you know, I don't. People like Lele Pons or uh, Hannah. You know, they were funny on Vine, but I think they kind of started. They're getting burnout and don't realize they're getting burnout because the jokes they're coming up with, you know, hit or miss. But really bad hit yeah, or miss. Like gotta, if it's good, oh hey, it's good. But if it's bad, it's horrible. It's yeah, like, like not even that. You really funny. gotta like. Really like she try has to. Hard. She has to. You know, like my, my thing is, this should they're probably gonna be uh, what uh, Instagram influencers. That's the best thing they can do right now. Mm-hmm. Well, try to get movie roles. I would think they're making movie roles. I thought they would get movie roles. Yeah, because it's like, you know? for like YouTube, like what you're saying, um, it's hard to gain recognition, but it's easy to lose it. Oh. That's, that's that's the way fame works, baby. Yeah, it's really easy to lose it. Where's Juggernaut, by the way? It's right here. Yeah, it's right yeah. there. No, that's that's just how it is, bro. You know, it's like you gotta stay relevant for something. Yeah, cause there's there's big YouTubers in my like scene, and like they've been relevant for a while, and then all of a sudden they just lose it. You know what? Some sometimes all uh, you just sometimes sometimes people just lose subscribers because you know they kind of outgrew the content, like. I I unsubscribe, I unsubscribed to PewDiePie because I just got tired of him. I got so tired of him, bro. Like I loved him. I used to watch him all the time in high school. Mm-hmm. And two years after high school, I was in college. I I, I looked at my, I looked at a notification from him like, dog, I don't even watch your videos no more. 
I'll pop in here and there to see what you're doing, but, but it's like, I do he not. Does the same thing over and over. Not even now. Now he switched up to commentating and reacting and doing other things besides the scary game stuff because that's what he was known for, and which that, was actually pretty, which was good because even today, that's you, if you're st- if that's your niche and you're still good at it, you do it. Like Marco probably just be doing it just for no reason. Oh, I got him watch. I'm gonna play some three scary games. Oh, okay, this ain't not scary. This is a good one. And it'll, it'll, it'll become a game review of how good this indie game is. You yeah. Know, like the, and it comes out. And the, But the biggest thing is editing, in my opinion. If you watch Corey Kenshin, mm-hmm. this dude was gone for like 10, 11 months, almost a whole year. He just came back out of the cut like three months ago. Not even like a month ago or so. A month or two ago. The dude just started back up. He still has all his subscribers. And they all still watch his videos. Wow. Like the dude's consistently getting like millions and millions. He has like... Yeah, there are some YouTubers, like, some people love them so much that even if they take a long break, they'll still be there to watch it, like, to rewatch his old bits. But no, but like I said, it's just, you know, it's it, it works. You feel me? Oh, uh, yeah, so even though he took that long break, he was still <laughs> making money. And you know what it is? He's genuinely a funny dude, you know? Because he's, it's just, he's he's reactionary. And it's easier, ooh, I almost oh, got killed. It's easier to be reactionary than to be proactionary sometimes. Because some people just got... No matter what you do, they got funny reactions, bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's nothing you can do about it. So sometimes they got the, the the editing's on point, the reactions are funny, and overall, like they're just they you can you can already tell that's a really fun person just to look at and watch them and watch them. Mm-hmm. Like they themselves are the entertainment. That's the best type of brand in my opinion, but not everybody has that. Like shoot, I'm not that entertaining. <laughs> you, yeah. you leave me alone in a room with a camera. I, I might do something funny, but that's a something out of the how many moves I could do after before that. Yeah, you have to be entertaining, yeah. and it's and you know it's it's hard because you got people, you know most. Let's just be honest. YouTube now is mainly a drama site. There's nothing but drama. Here. Yeah, and that's what really gains you the attention. Like, but you got people that actually do hard work and are actually talented. Like, I like to draw. You see my work, and. Yeah. You see how I like it. You see how slow. I've seen some people draw. Some people draw. I see. I don't even. I, I mostly watch musicians. I don't even watch singers anymore. Mm-hmm. I got so tired of hearing singers. There's a singer every other day, on there trying to make it. And the good thing is, that's great as a platform. That is perfect for you. For YouTube, just get yourself out there, sing and da da da, and do that's this what I'm and, to do and edit. Because I feel yeah. like, but it'll it's eventually catch somebody's yeah. attention. Yeah. But remember, like I said, the difference between the uh, like singing and artwork is that singing, artwork as visual as it is, singing you could just listen, and it's and you judge the singing like that. That's Some true. people probably that watch your videos don't even watch the whole video; they just skip to see the end. And you know, because you have the the thing, and some people actually watch the whole thing. You know, they like, they like some people like the process. Yeah. Like some of your videos, some of your videos, even I was like, all right, I want to see Angry Grandpa drawn. I don't care. I don't care about Angry Grandpa like that. I'm just gonna see them video, the end result, because I want to see like the last. 30, 20, 45 seconds of what you did. But that get, video did you know. get a lot of views. Yeah, like I said, I didn't like, I didn't care about Angry Grandpa. That's not my ah. thing. But some some other stuff, like the Joker stuff, the Pennywise stuff, I actually looked at it because also, I, I like to see the level, when I see the uh, drawing with a certain level of detail, I will watch the process because mm-hmm. I see the detail. I see the work. It's hard. It's not you know, you take You take a minute to get to do it. You know, I'm not just going to, if I just see, oh, Angry Grandpa, you're drawing on a human face. No, you draw monster faces and all types of other faces. You feel me? Yeah. To me, Angry Grandpa is almost like a... Especially not shading, Angry Grandpa is like what? A little little break from the super shades and whatnot? You know, you're, you're saving some supplies. Yeah, to an extent, because I, when I when I drew him over a year ago, um, I didn't really have as much equipment as I do now. Like, because now I got some pencils that go darker, better at shading... So if I were to redraw it again, you know, I know it would take me longer because I would be able to put much more detail to it. Yeah. But it was cool to gain the, the attention of his son. Yeah. And I got his attention. He featured it on his video because I sent it to him. So And he follows me on Twitter. That's, hey, actually, that's, that's awesome. I got to make, make a Twitter. I just don't want to make a Twitter. I know you don't want to, but... No, the, to the, get no, this the, podcast the, the, out there, man. That's no, the, but the thing is, like, man, Twitter's toxic. It is very toxic. And I know me. I'm on Twitter every when day. You, when you look at Twitter, and I just look at it, it's like, wow, this is really like toxic, bro. bro is, I'm on Twitter every day, every day. But that's like, Twitter is like the best platform to really like interact with your fans because you're gonna have fans that are gonna want to interact with you, 
and YouTube comments is just not gonna do it. Yeah, I understand. The, the, the only problem is that the weird thing about Twitter is that it breeds impulsivity. Like you, it purposely you see something and it's just so much easier to just you know write, you know, you know, just you know re retweet or so much easier just to respond real quick in the mentions. Mm -hmm. We got a mentions tab. It's so easy to like respond because you know they're gonna see it, you know they're gonna get it, you know they're gonna it's gonna be popped up right there. Exactly. And it, it's not like Instagram. I see Instagram. I see it to the little, to the little top right. You know, the little yeah, the, the little, little icon, one, the little one at the arrow. I don't, I don't care. I look at that. It's like I'll get to that later. Yeah. That's my first thought. I can get to that later when I when I want to get to that. You know, I'm not gonna immediately. But Twitter, it's there. It pops up on your feed, bright. Yeah, like it's there. For your it's always gonna be there, and you you can see it. <laughs> you, you can see the whole. You thing. can see the thing. So it's like, yo, did they really just say that to me about me? Like it breathes negativity. Oh yeah, and positivity, especially you know? especially once you get once you get uh, your name out there. Like example, oh, you know, uh, oh, forget dude, about him. You know, H three H three. Oh my goodness, that dude is, you know, always some shit with this with this dude. But like all he does is podcast and look at the amount of attention he gets. He gets a lot of hate too. Same thing with Joe Rogan. People always going after Joe Rogan for no reason. For no reason. They just it's like, oh <laughs> fuck you. Like I know you H made fun of something that I like. And like yeah, I know H three got himself into uh, some drama uh yesterday or whoa, the day whoa, before. Wait, what, uh, what, what Keemstar thing? Yeah, with Keemstar. Yeah, but Keemstar is a Keemstar is a dick though. I don't like Keemstar. That's a fact. He is a dick. I don't like Keemstar. You know, he he is here to make money. Which more power to you, you, you know, feel me? Like you know, if you can make money doing that, then hey, more power to you. You know, I encourage you to keep going, but don't be a dick. No, but that, that's that's the shtick though. Like they don't care. Why should he care? You know, it's funny because a friend of mine actually uh, interviewed him once um, on his uh, podcast. There's another podcast I uh, listen to every week, and um, he interviewed Keemstar because back then when YouTube got so strict. You know, he said his advice to small YouTubers is just to quit, that they're not going to make it. Yeah, that's pretty I mean, much but, it. you know, look at the YouTube now. Even now, it's like, yeah, you might as well just quit. Well, I feel if you're just going to, like, re-upload somebody else's videos and not do anything creative and just do, like, stupid stuff, then yeah, get off. Yeah, just quit, but... But if there's actually talented people that actually really work hard, and you hear a big YouTuber just saying, just quit, you're never going to make it. You know that's gonna really bring down those people's motivation, and I mean, they're not gonna want to do it. I mean, yeah, it hurts. It does. That does hurt. My God, you, you, but my response is like, just going quit, quit. Fuck you. Suck my dick. What are you gonna do to me? Mm -hmm. What can you do to me? Nothing. It's like, exactly. And you but know that's how funny? I feel about. It. That's my, and, my my the way I go about it. And what's funny is that Keemstar when he was in, uh, in that interview. Oh, but then you try to call him out on shit, and he gets mad defensive. Exactly. That's what I said. Like that's that's exactly what I'm talking about. Same thing. He gets and mad defensive. When my when uh, a friend of mine called him out on this interview. Um, he said, he goes like, dude, if I saw somebody say that, I would have told them to go fuck themselves. Yeah, like, you're not going to tell me, just quit. Oh, go, oh, wow, the man who's been doing this, old man has been telling me to quit. You wouldn't tell me that you were starting. Mm -hmm. You'd be trying to, you know, gain attention and this and that, especially with your with your personality. Exactly. But, uh, but like I said, be a dick. If you really need to be a dick, be a dick. That's your thing. If you don't want people coming up to you like that, I would never walk up to King Star. Uh, I don't like him. Because I don't like him like that. You know? All I do, what I do. He's I, cocky. I say, yo, suck a dick. And I just, that's it. Yeah. I be by my day. He probably wants that. That's, you know how easy it is to do? I'd rather deal with that and uh, someone not even going up to me than be but like, it is oh also, my God. It is, also, it is also a good way to promote himself too because what is his channel based on? Drama. Yeah, that's his thing. You know, so you know. by him being a dick, it brings more drama to his channel. Therefore, it's going to bring more viewers and followers. So I can understand if that's his character. Maybe in real life, he's actually a cool person. I mean, he's you know, he's been cool to some people before. It's not like he's not always a dick, but he's a dick to some people. That's just that's just how he feels about things. Like, I can't change that. Yeah. I don't know. It sucks. It's not even wrong. I, it, you can tell people that he likes and people that he doesn't like because there are people that he really does not like. Like he hates, and he's just a he dick to you. He's just straight up dick to you if he does not like you. He doesn't like H three H three. That I know for yeah, a fact. Yeah, that's a fact. I know he doesn't like H three H three. They both don't like each other. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if I mean, but Keemstar has done a lot of messed up shit. He's done a lot of messed up shit. Like he uh, uh, I lost my perks. Son of a bitch. I mean, you heard about the story about with the sixty something year old man, uh, sixty something year old man, right? Nah, what I did not hear. About Apparently, that. there was this man who, uh, old man who uh, was a pedophile, and Keemstar found this old man that looked like him, but he didn't actually do the research because he looked like him, and he kept calling him a pedophile, and and he was a, a streamer, 
Yo, that's wrong. So people that's went to his stream and calling wrong. him a pedophile, and this dude was actually actually started crying. Yeah, so no, no one wants to be accused of something like that. Not. Especially you know, something like that. Yeah, that's like, like the most like brutal thing to be exposed of. That's, it's a person it's, gets exposed. It's, it's worse for a man to be called a pedophile than for a woman to be called a pedophile. That's a yeah. Fact. Because I'm gonna be honest, most most men will like really not pay more. No, of course not. It. Especially if the girl Look, is, you, you is know, like, you know, you really know who attractive. I am. Dog, I used to want to fuck all my high school teachers, bro. I, I was like 15, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, bro. I loved, I wanted to do all that. Yeah, I You know, too. even if I didn't know any better, who cares? You feel me? Like, mm-hmm. and, the, and these kids out of here, you know, they're, 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 they're super dumb. They're like, oh, they, they be telling them, oh, yeah, I be, I be, he was with my teacher and da, da, da. It's like, yo, shut the fuck up. Shut up. Yeah, that's just shut something up. you don't mention. At 14? Yeah, because then she, at 15, you know she's going to do time. Yo, at 15, I was so convinced. I was convinced that this that this one teacher, I'm not gonna say her name, I'd be mad, I'd be foul, but I was convinced that she just wanted, she just that she needed dick, and she did need dick. No, she no for real, she needed dick in her life. I knew this because dog, she, anytime any of the boys would talk, why y'all so talking? Why y'all loud? Da 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 da. This and the third. Da 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 da. Like stop talking, I'll write you up. This this this. But the girls sat right next to her every day, and all they do was talk. Yeah. The class was even segregated by by boys and girls, and I was like, Damn, "Yo, what really? is this?" She really went that far. What's funny is she didn't go that far. We just did that without even meaning to, and because some girls went with us, but there was no boys on one side. Because it was an honors class, okay. and you know, women do mostly do well better in academics, especially things like English. They do way better. That's that's, that's that's a statistical fact. You may be the the exception, but most women do do better. That's a fact. And she would always get mad at us. Dog, I remember one time I legit leaned over to my homie to my left, to my right, and I said, "Hey, bro, can I borrow a pencil, man? I, I left my I left my stuff at home." All right, bro, now I got you. All right, bro, I got you. Here you go. And we, we were whispering, and she says, "Mona, why are you talking? Yo, I'm just asking for a pencil. Is that no? You you need a pencil? Ask me. Why would I ask you? You're yelling at me. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna ask you. Yeah. You know, but I was so convinced she wanted dick, and I was right. She got with a man. Boy, total attitude change. For real? Total 180. She became like the best she got, thing. Dog, she got dick. That's all it, that's all it took. Because she would always complain, why can't I find a man? I need to find me a man. Da 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 I'm 26. So I she was this, desperate. Da, 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 da. Yeah, she wanted, like I said, she just straight wanted dick. And I'm just like, yo, if you want something so bad, I'm here. I'm 15 looking like I'm, eight, I'm, I'm 19, 20. I, you feel me? I ain't going to say nothing. I'm not a snitch. I don't care. I had a full grown beard. Ca- you would have carried that. To Dog, I had a full grown beard. I had a. Uh, I was built. You feel me? I was pretty built. I'm not going to chubby like this no more. You know, varsity football team. Oh, all four so years. You, you were I sad. was with it. Like, so I'm just like, yo, I'm 15, but I'll fuck you. Like, no problem. I will. I'll give you some dick. Let me get some good grades in this class too. While I'm at it, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I wouldn't have said nothing. Yeah. And even if I did say anything. You the worst was the worst was she would have lost her job in this school, and would have gotten hired at another school. No problem. It is harder for a male teacher to get hired from another school for messing with students than from a woman teacher, unless the school is actually strict. That like is private, true. like pri- like certain private schools, they don't let that let that fly. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Certain public schools just don't care, as long as you got the credentials. You know, it happens that way. Man, my school had two male teachers. Fuck up, man. For real? Yes. And one had a history of fucking up on another school. And I'm just like, dog, you got a problem. Yeah, you need to get yourself some help. If that's <laughs> the, the dude thing. was, uh, don't get me wrong, he was a band, this, this I can do was a band teacher. Don't get me wrong. You know, he, he's young. He's 25. He's not, he was not that old. Oh, he was 25 when I was like 20. He is not that old, bro. So he's, he's still really young. He was young, at the, really young at the time. <laughs> and you know how he got caught up because the high school girl he was fucking was so dumb that she she put him on Snapchat and everyone whoosh rushed over to tell the teachers because no one really liked that girl like that. Oh, she was God. notorious for doing like, you know, basically hosting host stuff. And it's like, dog, you were told you get a chance. You you, want, you, only, you only get a second chance. Mm-hmm. You know? I know you messed around in the last school. Got caught. Take it easy. Relax. 
They're 16. You feel me? Like, yeah. that's a fact. They're 16 or 17. Yes, they're they are kids. They are consenting age at 17, but they're still high school. They are still a student. You have a hierarchy that you cannot break. And you broke it anyway. Yeah. Because he's stupid. He still didn't care. He, he didn't care. Like, he really didn't care. The other dude was a teacher for like a good minute, too. Like, he was 20, 25, 26 mm-hmm. when I first start, got his class. I was a freshman. I was 14. And at the end of my senior year, you know, he, it was just like four. So he's, he's like 30, 31. At that, at that point in time, man, this dude, everything was going great. Everybody loved him. Turned out, he had a relationship with a student. Oh, Granted, man. she was eight, she was almost, she was seventeen, almost turned eighteen. Granted, she had some big titties. Granted, she looked like a short little twenty-two year old. Yeah, that's still a student though, especially at your high school. You should know better. That's true. It does not matter what she is saying to you. It doesn't matter. It's she's gonna, just she's, gonna she doesn't reputation. even she's not even thinking. Oh, still, what could happen to you? She she's not that. even thinking it's gonna happen. It can't happen to me. No one at that age thinks it'll never happen to me but if you're can. young, but it can happen. Things are going to happen. Someone's going to mess up at some point. You know, now, if you, if you are like the world's greatest magician, man, or the greatest secret keeper, and you just, you know how to keep that secret so much to your grave that you wait to after you graduate, and then you go public like, oh, hey, we're dating. That's the best thing you can do. Yeah, with. because they can't do anything. Exactly. Else. Once, you're, you'll be an adult and you're no longer a student. Shoot, my dad was a teacher and uh, some, my dad said, until I graduate high school, I am Mr. After that, you can call me But you better graduate first. Until then, Mr. And even today, some kids that graduate from his class still He's yeah, like, and he, he reminds us too. Yo, you know you can call me Mr. You know you can call me Yeah, but I'm more comfortable. Like, it's just like that, but he yeah, has. It's that's what my. T- but he, but he, you mean he let them know off rip. You are gr- the government treats you grown once you graduate, and I will treat you grown once you graduate, just like that. That's exactly. Until how my, then, follow the rules. That's how my art teacher was, because she told me like when I ran into her after I graduated, she was like, you know, you can call me by my first name, and I said, I just can't, I can't. Uh, it's like I, I, you taught me everything. I've, I've called you by your last name. I have to call you that. To this day, I still call her by her last name. Oh, no. I do not call her by her first no, name. I, didn't, I just... Now, the teachers I don't care about, I'm going to call them by their first name. Oh, yeah. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I don't care about you at that point. The teachers I love, oh, still- they all got the last names called only. And I yeah. will always refer to them by their last name. For real. There is nothing... That's what I would do. There, there was nothing I could, I, could, I could do about it. And I love it. Yeah, and, and, and you know, it's, it's six years since I graduated. And I still call her... By her last name, we're friends on Facebook, and I still call her by her last name. Yeah, I never call her by her first name, and she's told me, "You don't have to call me by my last name." Like I can't. Oh man, my my band teacher, I loved him so much, bro. Yeah, I, I still call him by his last name. I can't call them by their I, first name. I can I can try. It just doesn't feel right. It, <laughs> it doesn't just doesn't feel, feel right. right. When you grow up in, with, with with certain teachers, it doesn't feel right. Jeez, it doesn't okay. man. Time flies. Yo, you know they're gonna cut. Funding to teachers now more, right? Because of the Corona thing, the Rona. Yeah, I know. The distance learning. I mean, they which have... is dumb in my opinion. If you want a dumber America, go ahead. Kids haven't been to school in how long now? Uh, About two and a half months. Yeah, they've been online. And mm. by the time they go back, if everything's good by fall time, it should be. It's gonna be six months that they haven't been to school. So you know how weird it's gonna be. Oh, it's gonna be mad weird. Some some kids liked it. Don't get me wrong. Oh yeah, but, every but, kid but, is gonna like it. Man, I, I know some some family members. They're like, oh yeah, I love I love it because it's so easy. I'm like, yo, that's high school though. Yeah, it's high school. You know school. how difficult it is for me in college to yeah. to get to to do this. Because the thing is, is that college, you also you gotta understand, I gotta pay for that, and with this with this education, I'm guaranteed a good job. Yeah. You know, I need this. Well, you're guaranteed a better, a better position. You're guaranteed a, 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 a better. You, you, you get more leeway, and they look at you more for mm-hmm. your jobs. You know, I remember they told me in college, we do we just we're in college doesn't mean you're guaranteed a position. But you're you not guaranteed a, a con- yeah, like you have a higher, what better chance? Like if you, you want to be a med student, you got to be a med student before you be a doctor. That's a fact. You can try to be a doctor without being a med student. Don't get me wrong, but man, you're gonna be turned away. But even then, you have to be super at it. Med school is a comp- is a competitive place, which is mad weird considering you want more doctors help- helping people. But we don't do that around here. No, but it's mad weird. 
That's crazy, man. Uh, I'm, uh, oh, hey, we're good. Yeah, I'm going I'm to I'm go ahead and end this right here then. Okay. I'm going on for a minute. Oh, but Jesus. That's a lot. There's, there's a lot to talk about once you get going. I like it. Yeah. I do like this. I do like doing this. It was. It was good. All right. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Weird Times Podcast. If you've made it this far in the listening, you are, you are much appreciated. Thank you very much so far. If you could subscribe to the YouTube channel and follow me on Spotify, that would be very much appreciated. Until then, see you in the next episode.